Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now previously I've shown in a video how you can run a large language model, LLM, on your laptop and it will give you similar capabilities to ChatGPT, but it doesn't go out to the cloud, it doesn't do anything else, it just runs directly on your laptop. Now that was using a project called Llama.cpp. Now the disadvantage of Llama.cpp is it was very much command line based. You had to compile the code yourself. You had to fetch the language models from somewhere. You had to kind of type in some odd commands, minus this, plus that, to try and get it to work. So if you were a bit technical, it was great and I showed how to use it. However, it wasn't easy to use. Now the good news is there's now a new app that's come out for Windows and for the Mac that wraps up the Llama.cpp project into a nice user interface. It's got built-in ways to download the models. It's got a chat window so you can start interrogating them straight away. It's really simple. And that's what I want to look at today. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go over to lmstudio.ai to get to the LM Studio website. That is what we have here in front of us. Few things to note. First of all, you can download LM Studio for the Mac with Apple Silicon, or you can download LM Studio for Windows. I've downloaded both. They function pretty much exactly the same way. Uh, there are some differences, for example, about any potential GPU support, but this is mainly designed, as it says down here, made possible thanks to the Llama.cpp project. And of course, the Llama.cpp project is designed to run this primarily on the CPU without needing to have uh, any particular GPU. Now, what can you do with LM Studio? You can run uh, large language models on your laptop entirely offline or on your PC, on your desktop as well, which is what I'm doing. You can, it's already got a chat mode so you can use the models via the UI there and you get your kind of chat mode just like you would with chat GPT that makes it really interesting because you can literally download a model and start using it all within the same UI just straight away and as I said you can download any compatible model files from the Hugging Face repositories and we'll go into that in a second so once you click the download you then need to install it and there's one thing to note about the install and that is that this is an unsigned binary so Windows will complain saying hey where did you get this binary from are you sure you want to run it now this isn't open source other than the parts that you find in llama.cpp so none of the UI and all that so there is a risk I haven't noticed anything adverse. I've not had any virus warnings or anything, but just so that you know, this is an unsigned binary uh, and you have to install it on your machine. Okay, so this is LM Studio up and running here on Windows. This is the home screen and you are presented with a search box, which we'll use in a moment. And then basically here is a kind of a curated list of interesting models that you might want to try. So here is Code Llama, that's a 7 billion version. Uh, and you can basically click on down and let's just go through some of these. First of all, it tells you how much RAM you're gonna need. Now I've got 20 gigabytes in my machine. I found that I can run the 7 billion models fairly easily. I can run a few of the 13 billion connection models if I close everything else down, including uh, you know Google Chrome and any other big apps. So I've recently just got all of my free memory I can just about run them. I have not had any success in running any 34 billion parameter models. For that, you're going to need 32 gigs, 64 gigs of RAM. Now, the other thing is, is there are different files you can download. It's highlighted a couple for you. So to make these things run on a laptop, on a CPU, without any uh, kind of GPU, it uses a quantization uh, methodology, which reduces the complexity of the uh, neural network down from maybe 16-bit floating point numbers to 8-bit to even 4-bit. Uh, and so you get to download these models and already even doing that, the models are 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 gigabytes in size. And you need to use that. If you wanted to run the full models without any quantization, then you're going to need to have specialist hardware GPUs and so on. And the quantization basically reduces the accuracy slightly, but using methods that hopefully don't lose too much of the functionality. So you have to play around. So for example, if we click on see all files, what we're going to get is a list of all of the files. It's all the same model. This is Code Llama 7 billion. It's Code Llama Instruct. 
okay? But they've applied different levels of quantization. So here you can see you get a three gig file, right down to the other end, you get a seven gig file, and this directly impacts on the features, the performance, and on how much memory it takes. Now, I've had a lot of success with the four bit KS ones. There are different variations, there are different techniques for the quantization, there's loads of stuff you can read uh, on the internet about this. Uh, but basically, these are the ones that I found are the most, give you that balance between memory usage uh, and functionality. If you can, use the uh, Q4KS models. So back here on the home page, you can scroll down and look at lots and lots of different models that they're recommending you should try out. They're telling you where it's coming from. So this is a Llama one. They've done some other things. They've done some extra training for it and so on and so on. Gives you the size and you can really easily just pick a model and play with it. Oh, I quite like that one. Oh, let me try out that one. And as new models appear, they will appear on this home page uh, if they are useful. You can also just search the uh, Hugging Face page. So if I just type in here, if I want to, I can just type in Llama and it will give me a list of all of the Llama based uh, files. Here we are, look, 337 of them. And you can sort by, for example, by most recent. So that's one here from September the 8th peanut butter so you know you can then click over here and it'll open up the web browser and show you that page from the hugging face page describing what this file is where it all comes from is it worth looking at and so on and you can also sort by most downloads so you can see that the uh, llama 2 7 billion 13 billion chats have been very very uh, popular and people have downloaded those a lot and then obviously uh, more uh, uh, interesting ones and more niche ones have been getting less attention. So if you're looking for a particular model, you can search that from uh, the Hugging uh, Face page there. Now, once you've downloaded some models, and of course you can download however you want, note there is this folder here where you can define where you keep your model. So you can change it. I've put it on a separate drive, D backslash LM Studio, because that's where I've got some space. Of course, we're talking four, five, eight, ten gig files each time. And so you can actually download. These are the ones I've been downloading and playing with. And once they download, you can hit this chat box here and start using them. So you pick a model so here, all the ones I've been uh, downloading. So what I want to try is the Llama 2 chat, 7 billion connections, the KS ones. As I said, those are the ones that I've been having a lot of success with. So if you click on that, it will now load that model into the computer memory. And as you can see, it's a big file, it takes a lot of time to load it up. And also what's happening is that in a minute here, it's gonna tell me how much RAM it's used to do that. So let's just wait and see what, well, there we go. It's starting to crank up 2.6 gigs, three gigs of RAM, just to load up there, 3.4 gigs, four gigs. It's now almost five gigs it's used to load up that model. And now we can start chatting to it just as if we were, you know, chatting to ChatGPT. So I can enter a message in here. Give me your review of Casablanca. Now, because this is running on the CPU, this is not gonna be lightning fast, but if you notice, it's actually not that much slower than the kind of speed you're getting out of ChatGPT if you were connecting over the internet to their servers. So Casablanca is a classic movie that stood the test of time and continues to captivate audiences with the timeless themes of love, loyalty and sacrifice, released in 1942. So let's just see uh, what it tells us, whether it actually gives us any controversial opinions or is this just gonna be uh, a summary uh, of uh, all-star cast, you know, just a summary of what you would kind of know about Casablanca. I tried this earlier, it did say that it didn't like some of the performances of the secondary characters. Uh, the dialogue is witty and engaging, okay, so let's see what else it has to say. We'll wait for this just to complete. Okay, so there it's finished, and the last thing is I highly recommend Casablanca to anyone looking for a thoughtful and engaging cinematic experience that will leave you both entertained and inspired. Now, of course, just like all of these GPTs, we can ask you all kinds of uh, questions. So let's just run through a few more. Uh, let's try uh, this one that could be interesting. Uh, tell me the best places to travel on a budget of $1,000, including car hire, flights, and accommodation. So it will start to give us its answers for that. Let's just wait till it finishes. Okay, so it's come up with the list there, Thailand, Indonesia, Costa Rica, New Zealand. I felt that was an interesting one, uh, but they are saying that you could fly out there maybe for $700 
and then stay in some hostels at $25 a night. Spain, Mexico, Croatia, Brazil, South Africa, Philippines, all uh, great uh, choices there. Obviously costing uh, is different, but it's interesting that it's given uh, some very interesting uh, destinations that you can go to. So remember again, this is all running on my PC. It's not connecting up to the cloud. It's not connecting to a model running in the cloud. This is running all on my uh, PC. And what's great about this is eventually what we're gonna see uh, in the future is a kind of chat GPT level functionality built into everything that runs locally. So not going up to the cloud. Uh, and of course, this is going to you know revolutionize the way we work because it's all running locally, just like a spell checker. Really, it's kind of the next kind of level after that. OK, let's just try uh, one more thing uh, and then I'll show you that these models, like, for example, this seven billion connection model is not going to be good at everything. So let's just try one here. Create a thank you email template I can send after completing an interview. So that should be a fairly thing for these, uh, simple thing for these models to do. As again, remember this is running locally on the PC, not connecting up to the cloud. Okay, so there you go. Uh, it's, you know, even done, uh, you know, the subject because it knows it's uh, an email. Uh, dear, and then the, you can put in the interviews. Now I want to take a moment to express my sincere gratitude for the opportunity uh, to interview with and then company notes. It's a template and you can go through all that uh, and customize it as you want. So these are the kind of things that these locally run uh, models, LLMs, large language models can do on your PC without going up to the cloud. Now, there are some things it can't do. Now, this is a particularly hard thing. In fact, only chat GPT-4 could do this. So if I said something like this, uh, this, this is something very advanced. Explain the plot of Shrek, that's the famous cartoon movie, in a sentence where each word has to begin with the next letter in the alphabet from A to Z without repeating uh, any letters. So that's a very hard thing for it to do. Uh, a, orc awakened by the loud noise, Ogre Shrek grumbled and groggily got out of bed. So B, so it's actually doing quite well. It's talking about Shrek. It is using A, B, C, and it is starting each sentence with that. It is talking about what he's doing. He's getting up and he's yawning. Uh, and then he donned his armor, a suit of green and grimy gear. Uh, eagerly, he embarked on his journey through the enchanted forest. So it is talking about Shrek. This is kind of what happens in Shrek. Uh, so this is very interesting, but of course it's not what I asked for. What I asked for was a sentence where each uh, word uh, began with a different letter going through the alphabet. It is doing it, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So it's doing very well. If you asked uh, Chat GPT to do that, what you get is annoyed by cheeky donkey, ex exiled fairy tale gang, heroic, impressive jolly knight, loves majestic noble ogre, princess quickly reveals secret, transforms, unites, vanquishes wicked xenophobic youngster zealously. So that is trying really hard to sum up sh the plot of Shrek and it's doing a pretty good job since I told it I had to do it with A, B, C, D and it does work. Annoyed, A, by, B, cheeky, C, D, donkey. So it is working. So obviously the complexities of these models depend on what they're able to do. That This was pretty interesting. Now, I would like to do a future video on using Code Instruct. That's the one that we're seeing here, which is designed specifically for writing code. Uh, and so, you know, it can do Python and so on. And so that would be very good. If that would interest you to run Code Instruct uh, and seeing what it's capable of doing, please tell me in the comments below and I'll make a video uh, just about that. Okay, that about wraps up. So this is LM Studio. I really would recommend you give it a try. I'm not affiliated with this in any way whatsoever, but it really is great because you can download models just with a click and then you can try them just with a click over here and start typing in uh, new things, pick different models, which ones do different things, how they're, well they're working. Great if you've got lots and lots of memory. There is some uh, GPU support. If you go over to here in the chat, you can open a little window here. You can go down to here and you can enable some GPU acceleration. That's worth playing with as well. That does help uh, speed up things and also helps the memory usage. Love to hear if you give this a play uh, and what you think of locally run uh, LLMs in the future. Do you think this is going to become a big part like I do? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, that's it. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explained. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, and as I said, that one about uh, Code Instruct I'm, I'm thinking about doing, do subscribe to the channel. Also, please do drop a comment so I can hear your thoughts on it. 
Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.